fashion impresario, founder and director of the Golden Scissors Awards, uh, social media maven, uh, community activist, 501c3 pioneer, the creator of multiple programs nationwide, community commerce expert. It's all wrapped into the one, and it's all Glenn Jackson. <laughs> Well, my life is always crazy. And so I always tell people, when you're doing reality TV, which is scripted, my life is reality every single day. So it is always chaotic. There is always craziness. There's always drama. There's always some nonsense happening out of somewhere. There's always somebody always doing something they ain't got no business. There's always somebody mad. There's always somebody hating. There's always somebody on social media trolling. It's every day, all day, because it appears to be a very glamorous business. But most people are never there for the pre-work. They want to show up on the X with their gown and their back out, and they want to act like it's all because of them. But they're not at the sleepless nights. They're not at Kinko's uh, arguing with the tech on printing. They're not at salons trying to figure out why are you mad because you didn't win the show. They're not dealing with sponsors who are mad with other sponsors just because they need to be the biggest person in the room. And so they miss all of that, you know? And I often tell people if I have to think about what my darkest moments are, it would probably be the disappointment in people. You know, I try to treat everybody like I would want to be treated. But in most cases, when people see talented people, they're not trying to share the limelight. They're trying to work the death out of you. They're trying to capitalize off of what you have to offer. And they want their business to soar at the sacrifice of yours. And then if you say something, you're a bad person. And so through learning people over the years, I have learned to put my energy in people who see the bigger picture. Oh, there's so many days I want to cuss somebody out or just really let them have it or give them a piece. But then I realized for me, everybody's always watching. And so by everybody always watching, you're always under the microscope, you're always under the glass. Uh, it is so important that I always set the tone so that when young people come behind me and they want to do something, people are inspired to want to be a blessing to them. Um, do people do some grimy things to me? All the time. And a lot of times they are more angry because I don't respond. They're more angry because I don't say anything. They're more angry because I don't get on social media and air out all of my dirty laundry. I had a conversation recently with someone and they were talking about social media and they were like, people just don't like my stuff. They just don't share my stuff. And I thought it was funny because I don't give a damn if they don't ever share my stuff. And I don't care if they don't ever like my stuff. It is okay because when people don't like what you're doing or they can't share in your success or they can't share in your joy, that is not your customer. There's gonna be a person that's gonna share what you have to offer. There's gonna be a person that's gonna like your message. And so that is the person you focus on. All of these other people who are not sharing and, and are not uh, liking, a lot of time, a lot of you they see in themselves, but don't wanna acknowledge it. You're strong enough to take your great idea and push it to the forefront. Everybody is not strong enough to take their, their product and take it to the next level. So it is so imperative that people stay focused on what their goals are and don't let the haters, uh, you know, hinder you from soaring. I often tell people, you have one option. You can frolic with chickens or you can soar with eagles. I choose to soar with eagles. I wanna be around other successful people that are doing great things, that are sharers. So I would always remember before doing something to people that affected people, I would always think of the consequences. So for me, I'm always that conscious person to think that if I do something today that I have to turn back around and apologize for later, maybe I shouldn't do it. Michael Avon Media.